Here we've got wet clothes. I'm just going to be calling them shirts. We'll have M completely wet shirts out under the sunshine waiting to become dry. Currently, we're at second T1 and it is raining. It's going to rain again on seconds T2, T3, T4, so on up until Tn. And after each rain, the clothes are going to become wet again, naturally. Shirt number I needs A of I seconds to become dry. So all the shirts are made up of different materials, so they require different amounts of time to become dry. We can go out and collect all the dry clothes at any moment, but we can't do this more than G times. What is the maximum number of clothes that we can collect until second Tn? Let's assume 2, 4, 10, 11, and 15 are the times in which it rains. We've got four shirts and G equals three, meaning we can go out and collect the shirts a total of three times. We start at this point, T1 equals two. Before it rains again, we've got a total of two seconds. Four minus two equals two. At this time, both shirts one and two are going to become dry. So we can go out and collect these two shirts. G now becomes two and we can move on to the next second. There's a total of six seconds before the next rain occurs. In six seconds, we can see that the green shirt will become dry because it requires only five seconds to become dry. So we use a second dry in order to go out and collect the green shirt. G now becomes one. Now let's have a look at the remaining durations. Between 10 and 11, there's only one second of dryness. And between 15 and 11, there's only four seconds of sunniness. This means that the black shirt, the shirt which requires a duration of 10 to become dry, will never become dry, which is why our final result will be three. Now, the thing about this problem is that there's a bit of redundant information and that can throw us completely off track. This constraint G equals three is absolutely unnecessary. We only require one try to pull out all the shirts. Let's have a look at each of the durations. That is two, six, one, and four. Those are the dry spells. All we need to do is consider the maximum value, that is six. Since six is the maximum value, we know that this shirt, the black shirt, will never become dry. That's because it requires 10 seconds to become dry, but the maximum dry spell is six. So the black shirt can never become dry and it's excluded from our result. The other shirts, however, will definitely become dry in this time period. Yes, it is possible for the shirts to become dry in some other time, but there's no need to go out and collect it at that point. That's just a waste of energy and a waste of the number of tries. Instead, we can simply collect them all at one shot at this point of time. So in order to solve this question, we've got to first calculate the dry spells. Then we've got to identify the maximum value. And then we've simply got to figure out which of these is less than or equal to the maximum value. And that will be our result. Let's see if this works. Yes, our samples have been passed. And once we hit submit, our result has been accepted. 